This poem is an elegy for my father and it's called Daylight Saving. It was every time Daylight Saving comes around, um, somebody suggests that we get rid of it for various reasons. And I actually love Daylight Saving and uh, thinking about it, what I liked about Daylight Saving, whether in the spring or the autumn, made me uh, think about my dad and I'd been looking for the way to write a poem once he'd de departed. So this is what I found. Sib was our pet name for him for most of our lives. Daylight Saving for Jim Maxwell, 1928 to 2016. Sib, they're considering doing away with daylight saving. I wanted to tell you in one of the fora uh, we wander together, neither one literally here. Anyway, I don't know the reason. The folks of the morning and folks of the evening met at a table and at the same moment rose in agreement, doing away with daylight saving. And nor was I there to say, hold your horses, as you would have said, and so would your father. We three in a line, having doubts at the same time, wasn't to be. No one sat in our places. No one spoke up for the scent of the hedges. Our marathon hide and seek going on when the sun should be set and we shouldn't be out and the ribbon of light down the curtains for ages, infinite really, in that there's no ending anyone's showed me. No one spoke up for the thrill of the way the last shreds of a Sunday clung to the gates like their father was coming to ferry them home. All gone if you look, but no one is looking. No, Sib, they are thinking of doing away with daylight saving. Won't miss the beetling advance of the dark on your boys standing up in our bikes heading home. They won't miss the witches just missing the trees when it's not even five. For whatever they save, they will lose as they do. It's not going to be time. Who knows why they had daylight saving at all? I'm just glad we had it. I'm sure you explained. You're explaining now and I'm listening how I have generally listened and always will for the love in a sound. They are doing away with daylight saving. And where shall we meet? Now God, I don't think so, is shutting those windows and locking the lot like a yesterday. We shall meet where the light and the clock are askew and the language has scrambled to say what that's like. And it's thinking it might let the space play the light, but it might let the space play the other thing too, the, what was it called? Two hands in a ring and one pointed to there and one pointed to there. There, there was its point. Who knows where it went, howls the language again and goes back to its darning. As back to St. Francis we go, you and I, where we voted that second last time you went out. Won't say how that went. There'll be time better spent and light better shed to go wandering by.